What's going on guys? Welcome to the latest video game hunting. I'm literally coming up to the back end of a cold and it's like my voice has been like a little deeper. I'm literally reminding myself of um, Ray Liotta or Henry Hill from Goodfellas. You know at the start of the movie and he's like as far back as I can remember I always wanted to be a gangster. It's like it's like I'm like as far back as I can remember I always wanted to be a worldwide famous YouTuber. <laughs> Honestly, it's cray cray. <clears throat> I was just thinking, Mad Cow, as two UK would call me. He calls me it now and again. Because, like, <clears throat> I'll go to message him, right? I will want to message him about something, like a game or game event or something. But it's the it's my, the greeting, the way I greet him. I'm literally like, um, I'll say something like, all right, soppy bollocks, you're ready for Millwall away. And all that, like, talking, like, out of the football factory. And he'll just literally reply, like, Mad Cow. <laughs> Speaking of two E. I've got a Budweiser for you, mate. I ain't got the big lad cans, though. I've just literally got the little bottles. They're enough for me. You know what I mean? Just a cheeky bottle at a time. <laughs> but anyway, I've got some Kabu pickups to show you guys. Um, sorry, I, I honestly, I sound horrendous, but I really want to make this video so I can tell that like, my voice is like definitely going. But I just literally really wanted to chill with you guys and do this pickups video. I've been look proper looking forward to it, you know? Finishing shift, chilling, having a beer with you guys. Got my Bullworth top on. Is my bully top. If you guys can see on the back, got the old Bullworth logo on and everything. But yeah, um, anyway, so I was visiting Jesse Manchester this last weekend and we hit um, Warrington Car Boot. So I picked up a decent amount of gaming stuff, which I'll show you guys right now. So these ones, a guy had um, some 360 games, uh, discs only, um, for 50p each. So the best ones that I found of them was Ridge Racer Unbounded. And I've actually, um, I don't think I own this one. I can't remember how much it is, but I don't think it's a, a mega cheap game or anything. Um, I don't know, I don't know if it's around the six or eight quid mark in CX, I'm not too sure. And also, I've got Beautiful Katamari as well. I actually already own this game, so I've just got this one, uh, hopefully, to, um, you know, trade on. So that that's a really good one, because when, when I bought Beautiful Katamari, it was like a year or two ago or something, it was like 20-odd uh, quid, I think, in CX. It was like 25 quid or something like that. So yeah, real good finds those for uh, 50p each for discs only. You know, when you see some video games come out, you just want to jump on them. That's basically what I was trying to do, right? So anyway, um, I did see this big bag of uh, Xbox 360 games. And uh, there was a guy, you could tell he was a trader. He already like, had the whole bag and he was asking how much for the lot. And then the woman, there was a woman with a son. And she was like, um, oh, I've just got to like price them up and stuff. And uh, she was like, so, you know, come back later or whatever. But he, he still kind of wouldn't have it. And uh, he stood there for a bit, asked a couple more times. She was like, no, nah, just just leave it. I haven't like unpacked everything. I'm just going to price them up in a bit, so come back later, whatever. So he had to leave them. Then anyway, so a few seconds later, I I just came and asked how much. Then again, she told me the same. I was just hoping to hear something different, if you know what I mean. I was just hoping to maybe get lucky on the bundle. I, honestly, I, I really wanted to offer like 20, 20, 25 quid for the bag. Still, she told me, um, you know, I want to price these up, so just come back later, uh, which I did, came back. And then, unfortunately, the, the games were out and then a guy had already beat me there. There was another trader there. Um, so, uh, but he basically had like a couple of um, piles of games. So it was obviously quite a big pile that he was keeping. So I saw things like Minecraft in there. There was some like Lego games and stuff. And, didn't really see, didn't really want to know what else he had. I hate, I hate knowing things that I missed out on. It's like sometimes at my local car boot, you know, people come up to me and say, oh, you missed this or, you know, so-and-so picked that up. It's like, if I miss out on something, I would rather not know at all. I, I don't know if you guys are the same. I'd just rather not know what I've missed out on, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, he was making like a little pile of games that, um, you know, we didn't want. Um, well, that's what I thought they were anyway. So I went up, I said, do you not want these, mate? And he said, no, no, don't want them. So anyway, I rooted through and he'd actually missed some gems out of there. So honestly, even if you see some game collector or trader or whatever, like people don't know everything. You know, they do leave some gems behind. So um, yeah, I basically got some decent ones. Um, so yeah, anyway, before I show you them, I said to the woman, how much are your games? And obviously when she said, I'm taking the games back, come back later, I'm going to price them up. Because um, she did mention online as well. So I thought she was just going to run them by CEX prices. Anyway, I said, how much are your games? And she said, 50p each. I was like, seriously? I think I thought it was all going to be like CX prices, you know? So I was absolutely gutted, like, knowing that there's 50p each. But at the same time, if the guy would have got that bag originally, then I wouldn't have got a look in whatsoever. So it was kind of a good thing. 
You know what I mean? Even though I got beat, obviously, the second time, there's another trader digging through. And obviously, he got, he got the main ones, but I still got some decent ones, which I'll show you guys. So 50p each, this lot. Need to wear to rest this. Got real awesome uh, Budweiser merch as well to show you guys. Uh, this was off another car boat. Pop this on there. So. Anyway, let me show you. So the gems which you missed, right? So these cost me, yeah, grand total of four quid, I think. Oh, I think I've got some extra now. Hang on. I think there was that one that is from another store. So I've got Star Wars The Force Unleashed. How to Train Your Dragon 2. Guitar Hero Van Halen. I think that's like four quid trade in CEX. Like, I didn't know the value of it, but like, I'd literally, I don't think I'd ever seen it in the wild before. So I just thought it was worth picking up for 50p. I think it's a very uncommon uh, Guitar Hero game. I don't know if I might be wrong, but in my experience, obviously game hunting around and, you know, seeing all the other ones, um, you don't really see the Van Halen one around often. So I thought I'd pick that up. And like I said, I think it's about four quid trade. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones. They're not worth like massive amounts, some of these Lego games. Some of them are only two or three pound each trade in CEX. So just bear that in mind. Um, also got Turbo. I just thought with it being like a kid's movie, I thought it'd be worth grabbing. Um, and I think it is about like three quid or four quid trade at the minute. Uh, Green Lantern, again, around the same price for trade. Uh, Sniper Elite 3, wasn't sure because obviously these games have been out for a little while, but um, it is worth picking up because it is worth like a few quid trade. Can't remember exactly, but it is worth it if you get a 50p or a quid. The best one he missed. How how we put this back, I don't know. But he absolutely overlooked this one. The Simpsons game. So the Simpsons games usually do real well. Um, it doesn't have my well, but it does have like the little uh, extra sheet in it. So I do actually own this myself. So I'm going to like, um, I'll have to run it by my copy and see if I've got that little extra sheet. And if I haven't, then I'll add that to it. Um, so yeah, this is actually, um, at the moment, I think it's about 12 quid CEX trade credit. So yeah, the Simpsons games usually do real well. Um, I know Simpsons Hit and Run, uh, that's uh, held its value a bit. It did shoot up during the lockdowns, but um, I think now, I don't know if it might be around the tenner mark or eight quid, some, somewhere about that, but it did go a bit cray-cray at one point. Um, I'm sure the Simpsons game on DS is probably still worth three or four quid trade, I think. Uh, but yeah, absolutely worth looking out for the Simpsons game on the 360 and PS3 as well. Uh, so yeah, really happy with those. Um, I'm glad that I at least kind of got a look in and got some of the games out of that bundle, um, especially tough with The Simpsons. And it just shows not everyone knows everything. Some people will leave some gems behind. I've even done it myself. I'm guilty of it, you know. Um, they also had some um, Xbox One games as well for a quid each. Um, again, nothing too amazing, but um, I got Gears War Ultimate Edition. It's not worth loads, but um, I got that for my collection because uh, I don't yet own that one. And uh, also got Sniper Elite 3. So again, can't really remember how much the trade is on it. I don't know if it might be about the six quid mark, somewhere around there. So it was worth picking up all day, every day for a quid. Um, also saw a couple of Wii games. Uh, these were a quid each. Um, well, actually, I think I think one of them was, you know, I, I don't know if they were like 150 each, but I, I got them both down to a quid. So I got Buster Move, because I really like those games. I've not got it on the way, so that's for the collection, complete with Manuel. However, it does have, um, yeah, very old one um, pre-owned sticker on the Manuel, so uh, it's going to need a little bit of label room with that. So I'll take that off. Um, and then also, a game I've not seen before, um, the, the the game people or whatever. I, I, can't, I can't tell the difference between, what is it, developers, publishers, I, I don't know. I know the names, but I don't know who's who. But anyway, it's a Popcorn Arcade, it says, and it is London Taxi Rush Hour. <laughs> I don't know if it's any good whatsoever. Um, I don't know if it's, don't think it's a high value game, but I just thought it was worth picking up for the collection. It just kind of reminds me of maybe like a London version of Crazy Taxi. So I thought um, I'll grab that and uh, hopefully it'll be fun. So yeah, um, yeah, it does look kind of the same uh, concept as Crazy Taxi. It's a large map of central London, packed with all the famous landmarks. So that'll be um, that'll be interesting. Drive down busy streets, cause havoc on footpaths, tear through the underground. That'll be cool. And uh, cut across parks in a race to deliver passengers on time. Um, and it says, uh, choose from four different cabbies. 
each with their own unique official um austin fx4 london taxi so yeah they, they, they're all like a like say a bit of a variety and everything very crazy taxi concept in london it looks london taxi rush hour it is so uh yeah I'll definitely uh, give that a go once i've got the wii set up um also got um this was good so um yeah just saw a load of um ps3 and 360 games uh just within a box um there's already a couple of people going through it so they did get some some games uh i think they got like maybe a minecraft uh sonic generations i didn't really see any other games and i don't really break my neck too obviously unless they put them back then i'll kind of swoop on them and see if they've missed anything decent uh but once people obviously have bought things like i'm not one to kind of you know stalk around uh like a lizard or anything and uh see if they've um you know see what other people have got because i'm kind of once people have bought stuff not interested i don't like knowing what i missed out on uh, but anyway i got all these games for a quid each so they're all pretty decent to be honest so the smurfs too not sure what the trading is on that but um, i'm sure it should be pretty decent though um sure it should be worth a few quid at least uh last of us i was thinking maybe it still holds a little bit of its value you know, obviously, with the um, with it being remade, it's, it's having a, a remake coming up from uh, the ground upwards. I think it's um, it's being rebuilt from the ground upwards. Uh, so it's I think it's like early September that's out. So I will be streaming that. Um, I'll be streaming, uh, like I say, that remake of Last of Us, and then I will go on to Last of Us Two as well. So they'll be coming up on my gaming stream. So yeah, I thought I thought it's worth getting that. Um, also, I, I don't actually own um, the steel book of this in my collection. Uh, it's Call of Duty Ghosts. So I just thought the steel book was really smart. Picked up loads of copies of Ghosts over time and that, and obviously I own the standard version, but real cool to have the steel book, so I'll have that for the collection. Um, again, another copy of Sniper Elite 3. Um, infamous uh, Second Son. I don't actually own that, so um, if it's not worth any decent credit, I don't mind keeping it for the collection. Um, I remember playing the very first Infamous game on um, PS3. I just played the demo to it and I really enjoyed it. But it's a game series I've never gone back to. So I um, actually don't mind playing that in future. I'd keep it in the collection. Um, Wolfenstein The New Order, Occupied Edition. So it, real smart. Um, unfortunately, the, obviously the cardboard case is like pretty dented and that. But um, yeah, it says it includes a 20-page travel guide to Occupied Britain. Wolfenstein travel card holder and a set of three postcards. Um, I think it's complete. I've not actually um, had a look in here yet. But I literally just grabbed it. You've got to be real quick at the car boot. Sometimes you've literally just got to grab stuff. If it's cheap enough, if you don't have time to look, you, you've just still got to grab them, you know? So let's see what's in here. I literally wondered why that one coming out. I was trying to pull out the documents and it's actually got like... Um, it's got like a little cardboard thing in there so like the game slots in there and then that bit's for the obviously the extra so it's to separate the two i was trying to pull that thing out um but anyway i've got yeah i think everything's in there anyway so there's the postcards um that's the travel guide to britain um i think there's meant to be like some um travel card holder in here there is a hefty amount of discs for this game i think there's one two i think there's four by the looks of it all there um hoping the uh the travel card holders in here just have a little bit of a shame but i think the travel card holders missing but at least we've got like the guide and the postcards it's still decent it's very beatles as well um i don't know what the other ones are because i've not actually obviously opened or i kept them sealed but um yeah no travel card holder but still it's not an absolute deal breaker is it it's still good for a quid can't go wrong with that it'll go nicely in the collection as well so yeah also got a uh, GTA 5 special edition. It's all complete with um obviously the, the steelbook casing. Um it's got like the little uh, DLC um slip of paper. I think that's for the blimp, isn't it? Um it's a code to have the blimp. Um it's also uh, the map and the blueprints in there. So yeah, it's all there. So really nice for a quid. I think it still goes for like anywhere between 20 and 30 quid, I think. Uh, this was an absolute find. I didn't actually see this one at first. So whether she she put this out in the box after I left or um, someone missed it. I'm not sure. Um, but I definitely didn't see this first time round. It's Assassin's Creed Heritage Collection. So, yeah, I was proper buzzing to find that. I, I didn't even know it existed. So it is Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 
uh, Brotherhood, uh, Revelations, and then the third one. So there's five Assassin's Creed games in here. Um, I think there's six discs overall, because I can't remember which one it is. Um, it might be Assassin's Creed 3, I think. I think that's on two discs. Um, but yeah, unreal. I think that goes for anywhere between 15 and 20 quid. So not bad at all for a quid. Um, kind of um, not sure whether to keep it in my collection or to trade it on, but... Um, quite tempted to keep it though it's really snazzy artwork and stuff so yeah really happy to get that for a quid guys i do apologize that i sound horrendous um i should really record my pickups video but i just really want to hang out with you guys so I'm, I, I'm i'm sorry that i do sound rough but it is what it is right it's still fun to chill with me right um but yeah um i'll show you a couple of real awesome posters i got this is from the car boot not this weekend just gone but the one before, so I just really want to show you guys. So firstly, we have a Shaun of the Dead poster. Hopefully you guys see that alright. And it says you've got red on you. Because <laughs> Shaun of the Dead is um, one of my favourite movies of all time. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, um, at first I didn't, I almost didn't get it. Because I wasn't sure how much it was going to be. I didn't really want to like... Just kind of buy it for the sake of it or anything, but I thought I'll ask out of curiosity how much. And um, the guy said two quid. For two quid, you could not pass up a decent Shaun of the Dead poster. Um, so there, there is a, a Cornetto there, and it's got the number one on it. So what I'm guessing is, um, I don't know if there's other posters that may, may be a part of a set or something, because obviously they call it the, um, the Cornetto trilogy. Obviously, Shaun of the Dead's the first one, then there was Hot Fuzz. And then there was um, The World's End, is I think it is. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm guessing it is. It's obviously the first one in the Cornetto trilogy. So yeah, for two quid, can't go wrong with a bit of Shaun of the Dead. So this other one, um, it was a tenner. So I wasn't too sure, but I thought, you know what? I went back for it. So it is um, OG from 1987. It's a real nice Budweiser poster. It says label conscious at the top. And I really like the whole, like, um, kind of like, you know, the, the whole illusion or whatever, because obviously it's uh, showing, like, the logo, um, you know, within, within the bathing suits and stuff. I, I just thought it was really cool. Real cool, real unique. Um, I had a little search for it online, and uh, they do go for a bit of money. So I, th I thought for a tenner, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that framed. So, uh, yeah, really real thought I was awesome. I, I do love my Budweiser merch. I um, don't know if you guys have seen. If I can find the clip, I'll uh, put it in this video now. Like uh, about a year or two ago, I think. Um, it was one of my pictures when I was actually saving for my house. I shouldn't have done really, but um, George Ross, um, an eBay seller, he was selling uh, a real nice Budweiser dartboard um, with all like the red, um, you know, compartments in it and stuff. I just thought it looked awesome. So uh, yeah, I, I do really like Budweiser. It's like my favourite beer. So obviously, cause I'm drinking it in this one. 
Um, whenever you see me drinking beer on stream, it's usually always Budweiser. Um, on stream or on my videos. Um, but yeah, so I, I really love Budweiser merch. So really wanted to get that. I just thought it was an awesome poster, real awesome collectible. So I was happy with that. And I actually found that it was um, it was during um, my final lap around the car boot because you know like sometimes when you reach right to the end of the car boot and it was a real busy one, real good turnout that week. Um, sometimes I will do like one final lap, um, but then you know sometimes I, I deep down like sometimes I can't really be bothered, but I really want to. Um, but yeah, I do push myself to do one more lap because I know ninety nine percent of the time. All the good stuff will have been picked over, but there is the odd gems that are hanging around there. And some of my um, best car boot pickups have been on my final lap around the car boot. So, honestly, if you think you're done, just still, if you have a bit of energy, or even just go grab a coffee and then just have a leisurely stroll, just do one final lap. Three words, one final lap. <laughs> You've got to do the final holster lap. That's what it is, is the holster lap. Honestly, so I've got that. Um... For, it, was, it was another um, weekend, from another weekend car boot, I got um, a real nice uh, Ralph Lauren um, long-sleeved white polo top with a, a navy logo on for a tenner. That was really nice. Um, been picking up some real nice like designer gear for myself from the car boot. Like some, uh, got a couple of like Emporio Armani t-shirts just to chill out in, you know, just a quid or two quid a time. Um, yeah, got some real nice stuff. Uh, get the odd like, bit of Fred Perry. Um, love picking up Fred Perry. Um, and I see a lot of pretty green stuff as well. I always forget who it is. Is it? I think it's Noel Gallagher's brand, clothing brand. I think that's the right Gallagher brother. But yeah, pretty green clothing. I, I see a lot of that at the car boot, but I'm yet to see anything in my size though. They're all literally medium, large, extra large. I, I, I haven't seen a small that I could fit in, you know, but um, yeah, real cool. I, I just love um, getting cheap designer gear for myself. I really like it. Yeah, so aside from obviously my gaming and, you know, gaming merch, like, my next best thing to buy for myself is, like say, cheap designer gear, decent quality in that, so, uh, always also when I can find that. Um, anyway, we'll go back to the future, to the car boot, which has just happened this last weekend when I was uh, visiting Jess in Manchester, when we hit Warrington car boot. My favourite pickup of the car boot is coming in a sec, actually. Because uh, I've just seen one other thing. I got um, a 360 controller. I think I got it for like three quid. Um, and I did get it. I don't even know where it is. It can't be far. But I did get um, a plain charge cable with it. 360 controller. A uh, black one with a plain charge kit. Um, the cable is around somewhere. I don't know what I've done with it. But I will find it. Uh, but yeah, I thought, I thought it was just worth a few quid. Even as a spare, you know, um, yeah, can't go wrong with it for just a few quid. Uh, but anyway, Jess um, enjoys looking at the uh, the house clearance guys, you know, the guys in the big vans and that. So, uh, yeah, I was totally up for it, um, for, like say, scoping them out when they're pulled up. And anyway, so uh, she actually pointed out a load of game guides um, to me. She said, you know, there's, there's loads over here. So I went over. There was already um, someone who scooped up a load of Pokemon ones. Um, what exactly they were, I don't know. Um, but the, from what I saw, I think they, they look more like, like modern ones sort of thing. So nothing really lost there. I wasn't too fussed about them. But I saw some really awesome um, retro ones, uh, like from the PS1 kind of era. Um, so real happy with these. These were the absolute finds of the car boot for me. Um, so the last two are my absolute favourites. You'll, you'll know how happy they make me when you see them. Um, so yeah, there was three quid each, so I didn't really barter on them. I just literally wanted to get them and get out of there. Um, so I've got Tenchu, real awesome stealth uh, ninja assassin games uh, on the PS1. Pretty graphic as well. Pretty like gory. Um, also, Tenchu 2. I've actually not played the second one. I do own it. I've just not got onto it though, because I've been meaning to... Um, Complete the first one, and then obviously go on to this one. And then we've got Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Don't know if any of you guys have played that, but that's an awesome little game. Really enjoyed that back in the day, and uh, I'm well overdue a, a cheeky replay of that. And then on to my favourite game series of all time, Resident Evil. So this guide I got is for Umbrella Chronicles on the Wii. It's one of the, um, the rail shooters. 
obviously there is uh, there's Umbrella and Dark Side Chronicles. Uh, I didn't see a Dark Side Chronicles one there. Because um, believe me, after I picked these up, I absolutely scoped out for any other resi stuff, but I did not see it. I had a really, um, you know, close look, but um, I'm just so grateful that I got these. So yeah, real nice. I, I love Umbrella and Dark Side Chronicles for the Wii. And anyway, I already own this one, but I will move this one on. I'll trade it on or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was just so nice to see though. Um, it's the Primer Guide for Resident Evil 2. I don't know if you call it Primer or Prima. But yeah, that's the brand. Um, it does have some um, little bit, it's like a little bit warped, like a little bit of rippling there. Um, it's not like, it doesn't seem like proper water damage or anything like that. It does kind of have that effect, but the pages are all good. I think it's just this first one. There's just some evidence of it, obviously, like sticking together sort of thing. Uh, but nothing terribly bad. Um, so yeah, real happy, real happy to find that. Um, but like I say, it's not an upgrade on mine, so this won't be swapped out with the one that I already have, but still, wicked fine. This one, though, um, really difficult to find this, and I've had a look uh, on uh, online, and uh, I'm sure it's sold for like somewhere around like 60 to 80, I don't know if it's like pounds or dollars, I think it's around the dollars mark, I think. Uh, but yeah, it is a combination of Resident Evil 2 and 3 in one guide. And uh, it's got the GameCube logo at the bottom, and um, also, uh, obviously, an, an M rate in there. So uh, I believe it, it must obviously be American. Um, I've not seen it over here at all. And it does seem like a real, um, most likely rare and unusual guide to come across. So, yeah, this will gladly be going in my collection. So that was my absolute find of the car boot this last weekend. Mega happy with that. So it's just incredible, both Resi 2 and 3 in one guide. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> OG Resi 2 is my absolute favourite, my favourite game of all time anyway. Uh, OG Resi 3, that's my second favourite Resident Evil. I absolutely love the, the OG trilogy, the first three games. But yeah, real unusual. Let me know, Resi fans, have you seen this before? But yeah, I've not seen it before. So this final bundle of games I got with uh, some CEX credit that I'd accumulated over time. So this first one, I feel like I'd heard of it previously, um, somewhere, somewhere on the tubes. And uh, he had it on his stall, but it was like something like 18 quid or 16 quid, which was literally like two quid cheaper than CEX. So I was like, tried to get it cheaper. Um, I tried to like negotiate like a trade deal. Because I think, sure at that car boot, I picked up like a load of PS1 games, but there's nothing spectacular, but... I literally offered like about 10 PS1 games to him, literally about that, 8 or 10 games. And he could have easily made some profit from them. There was, you know what I mean, like there was a bit, bit kind of fodder-ish, but not too bad. Um, but I thought it was like, you know, I just offered it. I said, would you swap it for this game? Uh, and he, he wasn't keen on doing that. But so, um, yeah, I remember he, uh, he, had, he asked me about this game like weeks later. Uh, he said, oh, you still after it? I was like, no, nah, I got it with CX credit. <laughs> so, nah, it was a game I really wanted, uh, you know, uh, but it was, it just made it worth it, you know, persevering and accumulating that CX credit for it. Um, I, I think it was only like, obviously like a 20 quid game or something like that. But my whole point of telling you that story is because obviously, you know, you might want a game on the spot. I want it here and now, do you know what I mean? But I thought, you know what? I won't play it absolutely immediately. I thought I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll be patient and accumulate some CX credit. So, like, you know what I mean? I just think, guys, if you have the opportunity and you're going to car booths, actively making pickups and accumulating CX credit, please do just, where, where, as and where you can. I know sometimes we are impatient, we want to get games, um, you know, immediately, but have the patience and just accumulate your credit. You know what I mean? Make, make some trades to get those games cheaper for yourself because it's just so much more satisfying than having to pay up for the games, if, if you get what I mean. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, so yeah, I, I wish I'd have known that from the start because uh, when I first started collecting, I was actually throwing money left, right and centre, um, paying, um, you know, the, the going rates. But now I'm real, real wise, you know, wisened up over the years, playing the CEX roulette, the CEX game, um, you know, hunting around car boots and making them trades. So much more satisfying and so much cheaper for your collection, guys. Honestly, trust me. But anyway, this game is Rumble Roses XX. I don't know if you, it might be Rumble Roses 20. Obviously, I don't know if they're like Roman numerals. So it is all-girl wrestling action, as he says on the back. I just thought it was a cool-looking 
women's wrestling game. So I actually ordered this uh, from CX online. Uh, so yeah, it paid off. I won the CX roulette. So yeah, I was real buzzing to get that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've just uh, I've not even heard of it before. Um, yeah, until I, I saw something about it on the tubes anyway. But just thought it was a cool game, cool looking game. Um, and then a couple of others. Uh, I actually got these in my local store. Um, my mate Alex recommended uh, getting this, the Devil May Cry HD collection. So it is Devil May Cry 1, 2 and 3. Real nice condition and complete with Manuel. So it is a game series that I would love to play. It. Um, I've actually had some requests uh, to stream the first Devil May Cry. Um, so obviously, I don't know if you guys know, but obviously um, when they was designing uh, Resident Evil 4, um, that's kind of what it was meant to be, but they kind of strayed a bit too far from it. So they actually just made a new game altogether, which became Devil May Cry. Um, I played a bit of it back in the day when I was a kid, but I, I never completed it. But um, it is a game series I would love to go back to. Like I say, my best mate Alex, he uh, recommends it highly. Um, so yeah, I will uh, jump into that, guys. I'll most likely stream the first one as well, as I've had a few requests for that. I uh, thought this one was a bit unusual. It's called Monster Madness Battle for Suburbia. It's only three quid as well. So it's like... Um, let me just have a quick look. It says, like, slash, shoot and drive through a horde of invading monsters as you battle to save suburbia. Over 70 unique monster enemies. Uh, there's four-player co-op. Uh, over 20 gigantic levels. Uh, highly interactive, uh, destructible environments. And you can play... Um, you can, like, drive around in, like, uh, yeah, drive pilot and sail a fleet of unique monster mashing vehicles. Uh, so, yeah, it just looks like a proper, like, kind of zombie massacre game, you know. Uh, looks real good. There's also... Um, an extra booklet in with this as well. Um, I think, oh, it's, yeah, it's actually a, a comic. It's actually a comic of, uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly what the story is. I'm trying to show you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to show you like, what it looks like inside. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly what it's about or anything, but uh, hopefully that might be like a decent little story of uh, obviously the characters and I don't know if it's based on the, the game uh, story or campaign. But yeah, I just thought it looked like a, a nice little uh, bit of a zombie slasher um, game yeah monster madness battle for suburbia so the last one this was actually 60 quid and uh, i got this um it was uh, again when i was visiting jess in manchester a while ago uh, it was in the berry store there um complete with manuel real awesome uh, sega saturn shooter i've been after this for ages it is darius 2 so mega happy real happy gorgeous condition Manual's real crisp and everything for its for its age. And uh, the glue doesn't look like it, it's uh, to be coming off or anything. Uh, not really any kind of rippling effect from uh, the underlying glue. Uh, to, like you say, with sat cases, there's a lot to look out for. Um, you know, you'll see some of us fussy collectors, you know, we're quite particular. We'll check, you know, ch thoroughly check all the condition and stuff. But no, uh, I, I do love the sat cases, though. You know, as um, they, they can obviously become pretty aged and uh, have the defects, but I still do really like them. Um, but yeah, the side still looks real good. The spine looks real nice. Uh, it's got some uh, original tape there as well. You can see just there and then obviously on the plastic bit and then just there as well. So that tape will, will remain there. I won't try and rip that off because I'll definitely take the uh, the covers off there. Uh, but yeah, mega happy to have uh, Darius 2. Uh, I real like, really like the uh, the Darius shooter, so mega happy to have that for Saturn. So guys, that is it for this uh, video game pickups video. I do apologise that I've sounded a bit rough, but I've just been dying to chill out, hang out with you guys and make a video. Uh, but like I said, I'm just on the bit of a back end of a cold, and uh, it's just kind of taking out my voice at the minute. But I'm actually not that bad or anything. It's just kind of going at my voice, unfortunately. So, again, apologies. I sound a bit horrendous in this. I hope it has been watchable. Hope you've been able to cope with my gangster voice. I will be back uh, to my normal self very soon. I've fought enough G-Virus in Resident Evil games. I can overcome this shit. But still, I just had to come along, have a cheeky bud, and chill with you guys. Really hope you've enjoyed the pickups. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I hope to see you back very soon at Holster TV. See you in a bit.